The new theme on Passmark has some slight differences in the way in which you interact with the interface. To start with, we've got some new graphics and some new color schemes. Also, some of the layout is tidied up. You'll notice as you go through the website that when you have editing buttons on, the editing buttons are a lot tidier than they were in the previous theme. If you'd like to see a larger version of your course page or the front page, you can use this button here on the right hand side to toggle the top area and bring it back if you want to. That happens on any page where that top bar, uh, that top heading is situated. We have a button here for our international students. They can change the um, interface to give a Chinese heading view. It won't change any of the writing that you put within the page unless of course it is Chinese. Um, it'll show in Chinese, but um, it will change the headings. Under the profile button, you can change your preferences and check out your own calendar, your files, forum posts and discussions. The My Grades section is for if you were actually taking a course within Passmark yourself. In most cases you won't have anything in there. And Badges. This is actually the same area that students would see. The menu buttons are improved in that you have to click on them to make them open and they stay open. This helps if you're using a touch device. So each time you need to go to a particular menu, you click and then that stays open until you either click it to close it or go to another menu or click away. If I go down to the bottom of the page, I can see I've got my social networking buttons. These are the ones for the college. So that's the college website, college Facebook, college Twitter, G+, YouTube, etc. And you can also log out at the bottom as well. When you're inside a course, for instance, if I have a look at my maths course, it looks very similar. But if I now go into editing, I need to use this little green button on the right hand side. It doesn't say edit, editing anymore. It has a button with a pen inside it. So if I click on that green button, that's to turn on editing. It takes a second to load. And then you can see here a red a red off button for turning editing off. You notice here that the editing buttons and the features for dragging around content are a, a lot tidier than in the previous theme version. All the content is exactly the same. You shouldn't find any problems with that. We have tested the quizzes and forums and uh, we should have no problems with the content on our courses. If you do find any issues, then please let us know. Now, another feature of this web page is that if you have a smaller device, for instance, a, uh, a tablet or a phone, if the screen that you're viewing this on is smaller, you'll notice that when it gets to a certain width, the menu actually collapses down into this button and you get a lot more of a vertical feel. If it gets narrow enough, then the blocks actually disappear. They don't actually disappear, but they do go down the bottom so all the blocks are now at the bottom. So none of the content is lost when you go to a smaller or narrower device. You'll notice that the images at the top actually scale as well. And as you come back out to the full size of a laptop screen, then you get all your menus back again. What we can do inside this particular new version of Moodle is we can go to different areas and categories and I can even set up different permission levels for each area. You notice here I've even got a different image for this particular category. This is the staff area. So I'll be migrating a lot of the castle information over as time goes by. I hope you find the new theme useful and please let us know if there are any problems that you notice with this new system.